Hello folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for joining me today in our tips and tricks video. So in today's video folks, what I'd like to review is how do we remove the background of an image or photo that we have in our uh, and uh, that we've saved over time or maybe we'd like to add a photo and how do you remove the background for it uh, whenever you just want to highlight a certain image. So today that's what we're going to do. This video is brought to you today by the PPD Sequence Club. When you join the PPD Sequence Club, you'll save hundreds and hundreds of dollars on things that you're going to buy anyway, such as items from our affiliate savings program, which is all of our affiliates on our affiliate page. You can check out more about us and our affiliates by going to pixelprodisplays.com and clicking on the affiliate link above. What you see here is we have uh, a, a basic, uh, you know, drawing, uh, uh, animated draw, not animated, but just a just a basic drawing, and this drawing is over top of the butterfly effect. So you can't see the butterfly effect, and the only way that you can bring the butterfly effect into this picture because this picture is currently set to. Um, uh, this picture is set to be uh, as far as normal blending mode. Now you can go through all of these different blending modes, and you can you can change it until you get uh, you know where it blends, and you get something cool like that. But but it's usually not what we're looking for. You also have this slider up here where you can allow the two pictures to blend a little bit easier. Now there's also in some cases the transparent black setting here under the pictures effect you can click on it and if there is physical black inside the image X lights will uh, suppress the I'm sorry it, it, it will uh, suppress the black it will turn the black into open area that will allow the effect to show through uh, unfortunately this is more of a purplish color not black so therefore it's not doing it very well so I think the goal is is to uh, be able to select something and to physically remove the background. And we're going to do this with Microsoft Paint. Uh, what we have here, these are some uh, these are images. This is uh, Shutterstock.com. Uh, as a professional, we we are able to purchase and download uh, specific images that are used in a commercial environment and uh, where we're paying the owner of the image the uh, copyright for the ability to take what the image is and use it in, uh, for example, in our programming. So we purchase a commercial uh, license in order to use this. Now, uh, one of the things here, this is, uh, this is Vector Stock. This is another website. And I actually uh, have purchased this specific image here, and I really like a lot of these images because number one, they're fun, they're simple, and but also number two, there's a number of them, so I can I can come in here and I can clip these out, and I'm going to show you that you're going to it's kind of a side story, but we'll we'll show you how to clip these out, uh, and then remove the background. So we're going to work on this little candy cane right here because it's the easiest one. And it's the simplest to go into. So uh, what I'm going to do is I am going to minimize X lights, and I'm going to go into my little image folder here. And you can see this the stocking that we, we looked at in X lights there. Uh, but what I want to do is I would like to uh, edit this photo. Now I am in Microsoft Windows. Okay, so all of you people, all you folks who are watching that have Macs and are just shaking your head now that you're doing something with Microsoft Paint, I don't know if you can, uh, but I, this is for us on our side. This is a program that's included within Windows. Now, um, I always access Microsoft uh, Paint 3D by clicking on the Im right clicking on the image, and then whenever it is an image, I have it set where it shows right here, Edit with Paint 3D. So I'm going to select that. It just opened up Paint 3D on my other screen here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to click Menu, Save As, and I'm going to save this as an image. And then now I'm going to go right back into the directory and I'm going to call this Candy Cane. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do and um, is, is on Windows Paint 3D, I'm going to click on the crop and I'm going to pull my little corner all the way down here. Okay, so and in, in Paint 3D to zoom in, 
All you have to do is use the scroll wheel on your mouse. So I'm going to fit this so that I get as full of a candy cane as I can get and still have a wee little bit of a border. And there we go. Now, while we're looking at this, I want you to notice the physical size, the physical pixel size of this image is 275 by 453 pixels. Now, imagine you have a matrix, and this is your matrix. This is the density at which that it will show up on your screen. Okay, so at first, whenever you fix this, this is a really large image. So we'll do some scaling in X lights. That's real simple. That's the click of a button. But I just want you to be aware that this photo, in general, this image here is rather large. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and click the Done button over here on the right hand side, and that is going to clip this out. Now, if I hit Menu, Save As, Image. And now this is important. Down here where it says JPEG, I'm actually going to change this to PNG. And I'm going to change this to Candy Cane. Now I know, uh, oh, I don't want to replace that. I just, I want to, I want to change it to PNG. There we go. That's all I want. Just Candy Cane, PNG, save. Okay. Um, I'm going to close out of this. I don't want to save my work. And I'm back to my images. See how it made... Actually, I was hoping that I'd, I'd, I didn't mean to save it before, but uh, we have our candy cane. If we want to go into x Lights and play with it for a second, we can do that. There we go. Uh, we can always go in here, and we can grab that image, browse. There's the candy cane. And there you go. The candy cane's there, but we still have to clear the background out. So let's go ahead and move x Lights off to the side. And let's go in and edit the photo. And we're going to right click and we're going to click on edit with Paint 3D. And then from here, we're going to use uh, what we call Magic Select. Now this is as soon as you open up, uh, it's on the, uh, it's on the uh, main title bar here. We're just going to click on Magic Select. And if you look over here in the screen and you follow along with the screen, it tells you what to do. So if you have this photo or this image that you want to pick one thing out of, this is how you do it. So we've already kind of fixed the, the spacing here. We want to kind of zero in on exactly what we want. And... Um, You'll notice, if we zoom in here, I'm just scrolling in with my mouse, you see there's this dark shaded color. Do we want that or do we not want that? And that is that is a question you might have. You may want that. You may not want that. So just keep that in mind. And I'm going to click Next. And from here, now you're going to see we have like the car in this picture here. You can draw out where you want uh, Microsoft to select from. And... If I zoom in, you're going to see this highlighted blue line. And the highlighted blue line is ignoring the gray around it. And it's selected everything that's actually in the white. And everything inside that blue line is going to be pulled in. Now, I am picking a rather simple image. This isn't a hard one, but that doesn't mean uh, that you might have to do some extra editing. You just literally click on the picture and you can draw a little line. And that will bring whatever it is in. So maybe we want to bring this polka dot in, right? So um, we can click go back if you if if you didn't care for that. Uh, you can click go back, or you can hit Control Z. I'll show you that too. We'll draw a circle here, bring that in. If you don't like that, you can hit Control Z, and that undoes your last move. And then now, since we already have this outlined, I'm just going to click done. Now from this point, this is this this gets a little oddball. We'll just grab this and move this because now this is a 3D three-dimensional object, and this here is the background. And to remove the background, all we're gonna do is click and drag outside of outside of the borders, and we're gonna use the delete key on your mount on your keypad. So there we go. We have a cleared white background, and now we'll take the mouse and click on the candy cane and we'll fit it right inside. Now, whenever it's out like this, keep in mind, you do need a little bit larger border so that this will fit easily back on top of it. Sometimes the background is small, and if it's too small, then putting this back in there won't be very helpful whatsoever. So uh, I will go ahead and click off of there, and it will deselect it, and that's where it will stay. And next, we're going to go in to Canvas. 
we click on the canvas button and then now we have over here on the right hand side we have this transparent canvas and the slider is set to off if we turn this on bam now we have we have ourselves a completely clear canvas now the next step is the final step we're going to save this as image and now do you see how we have these little checkerboards here that's all because we've changed this save as type or we've already named it as an mp3 we're going to save it as an mp3 and I'm gonna come down here and click the save button and this is our original we're gonna call this candy cane clear so that's a clear or transparent background now let's go back into X lights and let's grab that new candy cane and let's see what happens and there you go that is the absolute easiest way to remove the background of uh, any image that you'd like and uh, bring it into X lights without uh, using any kind of online software. This is free software that's included. If you like the video, make sure you hit the like button. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and also the bell for notifications. If you haven't joined our Pixel Pro Displays Facebook group, we have an awesome community called Pixel Pro University, PPU, which you should totally join. Folks, that's all from me here at Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for joining us, and we will see you in the next video.